In this video, I want to show you how to create a local account in Windows 10. This is useful in case someone wants to use your PC so that he or she don't use it using your credential. Before we begin, I would appreciate it if you take a moment to subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates. Click on Start and then click on Settings. Click on Accounts. When you're in Accounts, click on Family and Other Users. Choose Add someone else to this PC. And in this dialog box, in order to create a local account, click on I don't have this person's sign-in information. And here you have to click Add a user without a Microsoft account. Give it a name. I'm just naming it anything here. Friend1, for instance. This is an example, of course. Use the name you want. Give it a password. And here you need to fill three security questions in case you lost your password. I'm going to put anything here. You can, of course, choose your own security questions and answers. Once you finish filling all the fields, click on Next. As you see, the account was created as a local account. This account, as it is right now, it's a standard account. It means it cannot install applications that need administrator privileges to be installed, or it cannot also change settings on the PC that need administrator privileges. If you want this account to be able to do these things, you have to change its type, but careful because if you put it as administrator, it can access all the data on the PC, even your files. So I don't recommend you to do this if it doesn't need to install applications. So keep it on standard users. And then that's it. Now let's try to log in with this account. So this is a login screen, and this is the account we created. You have to click on it, and then put its password here, and click on Submit. This is the first time that the account logs into the computer. It takes a couple of minutes to set things up. As I said, this is only the first time that you log into this account that you'll be presented with these options. And that's it. Now we are logged in with the user's account that we just created. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. In case you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching.